The legalization of recreational marijuana in Arizona in 2020 also gave people with cannabis convictions the chance to clear their record. To date, only around 20% of those records have been cleared. 13 News reporter Andreas Rendon spoke with community leaders on the move to clear the remaining records. Just like its effects on the body, the economic impact from Arizona's marijuana industry is high as well, reaching $5.5 billion since 2023. But only four years ago, this booming industry was illegal, costing thousands a clean record. The Department of Public Safety mentioned that there are approximately 200,000 cases related to the possession of marijuana. It brings me great discomfort to just put that 200,000 number out there because that only relates to one offense. The city of Tucson, though, hopes to bring that number down. The city and the Arizona Justice Project kicked off the Reclaim Your Future campaign, identifying 17,000 cases within the city limits that are eligible for expungement. But rather than have people file a petition themselves, thanks to the expungement measures in Prop 207, the city is taking a more proactive approach by filing on others' behalf. We know at least 184 have been granted, and we don't anticipate any issues with any of these being granted since our office is the one filing it, which we are entitled to do. But with thousands of cases and just over 20 lawyers on staff at the prosecutor's office, the campaign needed an extra hand. Law students from the University of Arizona were already assisting people, but on a much smaller scale until the campaign kicked off. And we just were not really having the impact that we wanted. Um, we had started to think about the possibility of initiating these expungement petitions on people's behalf, doing this kind of at more a systems level. Mm -hmm. And so when we were approached by the city of Tucson about doing just that, um, it was really kind of a godsend. Law students work as interns sifting through files from the Tucson City Court dating back to 1982. But petitions for older cases won't be getting filed first. The thought process being that People who are most likely to be affected by this were probably people that were more recent in time. The process is slow as the city court can only manage around 50 cases a week. But with almost 200 cases already expunged, officials are hopeful that more will begin to have access to resources they haven't had for years. In Tucson, Andres Rendon, 13 News.